The first solution to solve the unsupported format or damaged file error inside Premiere Pro is to change the file location of the footage you're unable to import. Here is my clips, they are located in the downloads folder in my file system. Now I'm just simply going to change them to documents. And if that didn't work, the next solution is to open the folder with your clips. Then we're going to change the file name extension. So in Windows to show them, click on view, click on show, and then you want to check off the file name extensions like this. And now you can see the .mp4. To rename Name this right click it go to show more options click on rename and now I'm going to change it to MTS I'm gonna click on yes and then I will try to import to Premiere Pro if you're getting the error importing an image then instead of JPEG which is known to cause some errors you could change that one to PNG click yes try to import or you could change it to PSD and then try to import. And if none of those solutions works, transcoding your file will definitely solve this error. To transcode your file, I recommend using the Shutter encoder, which is free to download, so I will leave a link to it in the description. To transcode will be pretty much the same whatever software you use, but I will show you how to do it with the Shutter encoder. So simply take the video you want to transcode, drag and drop it on top of the shutter encoder then under choose function click on this drop down menu i recommend choosing one of these editing codecs here because these are lossless and you don't want to lose any quality before starting to edit so if you're having a normal full hd clip you could choose the dnx hd or if you have a 4k clip the dnx HR is also a good alternative. Click on start function. Once it's done transcoding, you will find the clip in the same folder as the original clip by default. Or if you are getting the error with an image, you would want to change the format of the image. So on Windows, you could simply right click it, open with paint, and then you would simply click on file, save as, and then I want to save my image as an PNG. Then I'm simply going to call it Red Pool and you can see that if you have any transparency that may be lost but I do not have that so I'm going to click OK and then you can try to import the image as well. For more information about this error I have written an entire article about it so I will leave a link to this one in the description so give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and thanks for watching.